As usual, we start off with the vocabulary section, and our first word, actually two words, is flowering plant. Now you know what a flower is, right? We have a nice picture of many flowers here, and flowers are, of course, there are many colors, many different kinds. Those are flowers, and then we, you, of course, you know what a plant is. But here we're combining the two words, and we're using ing. So flowering, we're changing the flower, which is a noun, we're changing it into an adjective. So this whole word is now an adjective to describe what kind of plant is it? Well, a flowering plant. What kind of plant? It's a plant which produces flowers. So not all plants produce or create or make. Flowers. Only certain types of plants do, and we call those plants flowering plants. Okay. Next, we have conifer. Conifer. Now, you probably have seen many conifers, especially if you live in、uh, the northern part or the southern parts of the world. There are not too many conifers in the hot.、Uh, Regions around the equator、It、depends also, of course, on your altitude. But anyway, a conifer is a tree that produces seeds inside cones. If you've seen a pine cone, pine cones are probably the most famous, most common. But inside the pine cone, there are seeds inside there, and the pine cone will fall off the tree. The seeds will fall out. Well, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But the seeds are protected by the cone. And of course, many people use those cones for decorations in the winter time. But if you live in the northern areas or in an area where there's a lot of snow, there are many conifers. Pine trees, for example, are a very famous type of conifer. Next, we have moss. Now, moss grows on rocks, usually rocks. Could grow on buildings too, of course, concrete. But it's a small, it's a small green plant that grows in wet areas. Moss needs water and、uh, usually a lot of water in the air to grow. Water in the air we call, by the way, is humidity. Humidity. So if there's a lot of humidity in the climate, there's a good chance that moss will grow. And moss is just that green. Uh, plant that grows on rocks. It also grows on trees. And in fact, it's interesting. When I was growing up, I grew up in the American West, and people said, if you want to know directions like north, south, east, and west, there's a common saying that goes like this: moss always grows on the north side of the tree. Why would moss grow on the north side of the tree? Well. In the American West, that's north of the equator. So the sun is over here, the tree is here. The sun is at the equator. That's south because you're in the northern hemisphere. So the sun doesn't really touch the northern part of the tree. So in the morning, when there's a lot of humidity in the air, the water stays on the north part of the tree longer. So that's better conditions. For the moss to grow there, the moss doesn't really grow on the south side of the tree because the sun will dry that side of the tree out. There's, you know, it's too dry. There's not enough water. So instead, the moss will grow on the north side of the tree. So you know, that's kind of an interesting thing that I learned. It's not, you know, it depends on on where you are, of course.、Uh, it's better to use a compass, but it's a common saying: moss grows on the north side of a tree. So if you want to know which direction is north. Look for the moss. Okay, that will show you which way north is. Anyway, fern. Now, if you live in again a cool but humid environment, and I'm thinking about the Pacific Northwest, Oregon, Washington State,、uh, Northern California, a place where there are it's kind of cool, but there's a lot of water in the air. It's humid, and there's also a lot of trees. Uh, covering so the sun doesn't really dry out the ground very much. You'll see a lot of ferns, and ferns are green plants with long stems and thin leaves. It's a perfect picture of them. And I, I, of course, wherever you live, you might see ferns. They usually grow on the ground 
in a forest, trees around, not too many trees because they need to have sunlight, but that's where they usually grow. And you can, you can hide in the ferns, right? Uh, your dog probably likes to play in the ferns, but usually ferns will occur in cool rain forests. Okay. Spore. What is a spore? Well, you know what seeds are. Many plants produce seeds, and if you eat an apple, you can see the seed. But some plants don't create seeds. They create spores. And a spore is a tiny reproductive. Reproductive means a new organism can grow from it. Of course, a seed, if you have an apple, apple, an apple seed, a new apple tree can grow from the seed. Well, a new fern can grow from a fern spore. Uh, reproductive bodies of ferns and mosses similar to the seeds of other plants. So ferns and mosses, they don't create seeds, they create spores. Next we have contain. Contain means to have something inside an object. So there's a very good example. That's a good picture. You know, there's a seed inside the avocado, but we can also talk about, you know, contain doesn't just mean natural things. This, I have a water bottle. It's a plastic water bottle. This plastic water bottle, what's inside it? Water. So the plastic bottle contains water. It's to have something inside of an object. Okay, that means to contain. So an avocado will contain a big avocado seed. Okay, avocados are good for making guacamole, by the way. Okay, good. Anyway, contain. Maple. Now, Canada is famous for their maple trees. Maple trees grow in northern climates where it's cooler, and they have big leaves. They have really large leaves. Maple leaves have uh, maple leaves are quite large, and they turn red or yellow in the fall. So when it gets colder and it's going to be winter soon, the maple leaves they're very large. They're not. They're not. They're useless during the winter because there's not a lot of sun. So the trees tree, you know, if the tree could think, it's thinking, I don't need my leaves in the winter. It's just wasted energy. So the leaves will die. And as they die, they turn red or yellow, very beautiful in the fall, but then they fall off the, the branches. And in the spring, new leaves will grow. So a maple tree is a tree with large leaves that turn red or yellow in fall. And maple trees are also famous for making syrup that you put on your pancakes. Yum, yum. Okay, so good. That's a maple tree. Okay, those are our words for this lesson. American textbook reading. Science, book four. Lesson one. Grouping plants. Flowering plant. A plant which produces flowers. Conifer. A tree that produces seeds inside cones. Moss. A small green plant that grows in wet areas. Fern. A green plant with long stems and thin leaves. Spore. One of the tiny reproductive bodies of ferns and mosses, similar to the seeds of other plants. Contain. To have something inside an object. Maple. A tree with large leaves that turn red or yellow in fall. <laughs>